everyone. So today is our first episode of Ukhti's talk. So hope you will enjoy it, inshallah. So today I'm the host and my guests, they are Lili Khimari and Justin Eka and Um Huraya. And we wanted to talk about would, wouldn't you marry someone who, and then a, a different question for every time. So the first question would be, would you marry someone who doesn't have a beard? You can start with Mari. Uh, for me, I wouldn't mind uh, because uh, during this five years marriage, uh, before it was like my husband not even with the uh, with the with the beard, you know, like. But the beard is like, um, how is it? The more you learn about the dean. And then the more you also hang out with the people with the with the beard, and then I don't know. It's just, it's just like change during the the time and this period. And then Alhamdulillah, I think now is around one year. My husband started to growing his beard, and then looking forward always like to tri to trim it a little bit, and then also with the masters. Mustache, yeah. So, like, you need to trim your mustache and then grow your beard and something like that. So, it's uh, for me, it's not um, how is it like one night change like that. Like, you should have a beard, you should have this and that, because as we know, it's a sunnah. So there is no really force into it. And yeah, I wouldn't mind. So that's it. <laughs> And how about you, Lily? Yeah, um, for me, I think it's pretty much the same uh, as you because since it's not an obligation, it's not like uh, we cannot get married if the man has not a beard. But still, as, as, at the same time, it can be an indication of um, like, not all the time, obviously, but it can be an, uh, an indication if this person has a good uh, knowledge of his dean, uh, is he, um, you know, does he want to be, like, uh, implementing the sunnah and stuff like that. But at the same time, it can still be, you know, wearing the beard and just be, like, show off. So it's not like, um, like a, how can I say it? Uh, it's not like a, a big deal for me, like... Uh, it depends, like, if we, you ask question and stuff, and you can see what kind of uh, person is um, the man, basically. So I think it's pretty much the same uh, as uh, Himari. Um, so, yeah, I think we can go to... Uh, <laughs> it's Eka. Thank you. So, for me, I don't think... It is, it's not such a big deal, exactly, exactly what Sister Lily said and um, Sister Khimari, you know, it's definitely something which is better and definitely prefer it if they don't remove it. Um, it is a very strong sunnah, but it's not everything because a man can still be a religious man without a beard, just like he can be a non-religious man, but with a beard. Um, and what do you think, Um Huraira? Okay, so in my personal opinion, and according to what I know, um, okay, so for me, uh, in this situation, I think uh, we need to give it like more details. So for example, uh, since I'm not married, by the way, and this is why I'm giving this opinion, um, it's true that um, I would say that the beard is not really a sign for if someone is religious or not. But I would say if someone naturally doesn't have a beard, then it's okay. But if someone has a beard and he shaved it, then I don't really feel comfortable marrying him because according to what I know, it's not really permissible to shave the beard completely, you know? And um, I know like in today's now and age, it sounds kind of weird because, you know, like some Muslim men, they know exactly the conditions of uh, a woman's hijab, but they don't know about their own hijab, you know what I'm saying, right? So, I mean, in Islam, a man shouldn't really, um, I mean, scholars actually differ about this. Some of them say it's not even permissible to shave a beard. And some of them say it's okay if you cut it a little bit, but it's actually impermissible to shave it completely. So this is why... Um, I would want my husband to kind of um, at least strive for this 
And I'm not saying that uh, if someone doesn't have a beard, then he's not religious. I'm not saying this, but uh, it is part of Islam. And I think it's also um, kind of like a sign for someone to be Muslim. And I think it's okay uh, for someone to be, uh, to look Muslim, you know, because if we wear hijab, like full hijab and niqab sometimes, at least you would expect your husband to kind of, um, you know, follow this path. And at the end it's sunnah, so it's even, um, it's better to do it, right? So this is my personal opinion about this. Uh, yeah, so it's my turn. And I totally agree with Um Huraira. I mean, I do follow the opinion that, uh, I mean, that's the only opinion I know, to be honest. I'm not going to be uh, saying differently because that's the only opinion I know. I know that the, the beard is obligatory to have it for men. It's not like... Uh, there is no sunnah or something. I know that is obligatory and that's exactly what I follow. So if a man comes and asks for my hand and you don't have a beard, I wouldn't feel honestly comfortable because I wear hijab and I wear the color hijab, alhamdulillah. So I am, like you can see clearly that I'm a Muslim when I go outside. So I want my husband to also look 100% Muslim when he go outside with me, you know, because if he didn't have a beard, I would feel like, he doesn't actually look Muslim 100%. I know that beard doesn't make you look Muslim because there is non-Muslims now who do have beard as well. But I would feel more comfortable if he had beard, actually. But it's like he's supporting you when uh, he has a beard and he, yeah. for example, um, dressed modestly, you know? It's yeah, like exactly. a form of support. You know, support, we are matching because he have beard, he look Muslims, I look Muslim because I have hijab. Uh, so I would probably say no, or I would do like my friend did, which I find it was really cute as well. So he didn't have beard, her husband, but he was really good. He was religious. He was very good and stuff. Um, but he didn't, he never really grow uh, the beard. He always shaved it. And she told him that part of the mahar, she asked something else, but part of the mahar, she wanted him to have beard and never shave it ever That's again. genius. <laughs> That is such a good idea. And I agree 100% that I think women should do that. Because um, at the same time, you're also then pushing the man that's going to be your husband into doing the right thing as well, in a yeah. kind of way. So, so she did that. Alhamdulillah, he accepted, obviously, because they are happily married, alhamdulillah. Uh, and now you have a beard. And I think, my, this is my personal opinion, that men with beard look nicer than the one who doesn't have beard. But this is just my personal opinion. Okay? Yes, obviously. I do <laughs> I feel like they look more like a man, uh, the one without beard, I don't know, I feel like, not less, but for me, it's just not attractive, mm -hmm. I feel like that's how it is, so yeah, yeah, yeah beard is, is part of being a Muslim for men, so yeah, like, like you said, like, um, it will make you feel like you are more, um, like um, supported and basically you are both Muslim, visibly Muslim. So yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, and at the same time, I think if someone, uh, because you know, some people can be on the sunnah, right? But <laughs> they just cannot grow beard. And sometimes it's just natural. So it, this is what I mean. Like what I would personally ask if someone doesn't have a beard is, it's not really if you have a beard or not, but do you shave it or not? This is what I will have to mention. Because some people, again, they don't... If you naturally don't have, because this is obviously something you don't have control over. It's just something Allah gave you. And if, yeah, if someone would, uh, like in the past, <laughs> would ask for my, ha my hand and he doesn't have a beard because he can't grow it, yeah, then it's fine because then he has mm -hmm. no control over it. Yeah. I think what also makes a little bit more of a difference is, for example, if he, what is the reason for him removing it? For example, if he has a skin condition or something, then that's kind of a different situation to just, you know, removing it for the sake of removing it. Yeah. Yeah, true. Sure. Okay, so, but do so, you know, sis, um, yeah. it, it also many women that doesn't allow like um, their men having a beard, you know? Because I heard about that. And then oh, they say like, I yeah, yeah, it's so, um, I don't know. I don't know what they think about that. They say like, it's itchy, it's look like not clean, it's not look elegant, you know. You know, yeah, nowadays. Not a man. Um, they have a misunderstanding about beard. They think that growing beard, you just grow it the way it is, you know. And yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like a gorilla. 
oil, for example, my husband, he have an oil and brush for it. And, and I don't know what, some conditioner, I don't know what. Like so much, like he take care of his stomach, like his hair. So that's what every man should do because it's good now also to take care of the hair and the beard. Yes, I think, uh, I mean, and by the way, it's even sooner to take care of your hair. And because the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to, you know, brush his hair, um, had oil for it. So they should definitely go after that. Yeah, so I was thinking we can go to the other question if no one has to ask something. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I was thinking, yeah, uh, the other question is, would you marry someone who wear tight clothes? So uh, the, the kind of clothes that show the aura, you know, and um, the question is for Khimari, sister. Mm, tight clothes. For me, I don't like it. If I even wearing it my, for myself, I, I'm not even feel comfortable with it. You know, it's because just like showing your shape and stuff like that. And then if I'm not comfortable with it, and I see myself in the mirror with the tight clothes. So it's like I also want that as applied to, to my husband or to, to a man outside. So I wouldn't also looking or consider a man to be my husband if they also with the tight clothes. Even like this is like the, the jogger pants, you know, like the, how is it called? In this day and age with the... Top and bottom in the same, uh, how is it? Matching clothes with so tight and something like that. I don't like it at all. It's not look elegant. I don't know, something about tight clothes is just like look, uh, I mean, in, in my opinion, it's just like cheap and not well put together. It's like, just like, I don't know. <laughs> you get my point? It's a no for you. Yes, we do. <laughs> Yeah, um, Huraira, what was he saying? Uh, uh, I said, uh, I definitely agree with her. Never, ever, ever. It's just, it, it doesn't sound um, nice. I think it's part of women's masculinity, uh, masculinity to kind of um, say a man, you know? I don't like men who wear tight clothes. It makes them look like women, to be honest. Oh, yeah, you have a good point. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I think I agree with everyone 100%. I think, number one, it's unattractive. And number two, it's also wrong Islamically because they shouldn't be wearing clothing that is so tight that it is showing the shape of their entire body that's not from Islam. And I wouldn't, personally, I would not consider someone that dressed like that at all. You must dress like a man. Yeah. Um... So, yeah. Yeah, I agree uh, basically with everyone <laughs> and like I don't think it's um, like Islamically it's not um, okay because first it's not um, modest, it's uh, imitation of the Kufar, so it's like there's, there are many layers to this and just uh, in the sense of uh, the style is not like it's not manly you cannot like take a man seriously wearing this i don't know like if a man if a man was to come to me and ask uh for my hand i would i would not take him seriously because you know it, it kind of shows some you know it's like he's not modest thinking uh like basically what's his deal like how like it kind of feel like he's not taking islam seriously so i will just kind of feel weird uh and just to imagine you know walking with this person and it just feels weird so yeah basically yeah uh, that's my that's my take okay so basically it's a no for everyone and it's the same for me i would definitely say no because first if he come ask for my hand i will know that he either doesn't know the rules of modesty for men, which is a very big deal for me, if he doesn't know that. And so, or the other option is that he knows, but he don't care, which is a big no also for me. So both the cases will be no anyway, but maybe it can come uh, the conversation uh, why he don't wear modest clothes, but I don't really like it because 
you can see the aura is not from Islam and I don't like to walk with someone who does that. Even if it was my brother, I would still feel very uncomfortable to walk with him. Like, alhamdulillah, none of my family do wear tight clothes, alhamdulillah. But I also do agree that it looks like women because we usually wear tight clothes and it's nice on women, but on men, it's a big no. And it's uh, only these last years that it started to come this fashion before usually men usually uh, dress like men, you know, like very large, very nice. And it's even attractive, but I don't feel it's attractive when you wear something tight where you see your body is not nice, it's not attractive and it's not plummetry, right? So I you would know, definitely... it starts... Yeah, go ahead. No, no, you can go. Okay. Yeah, when you were talking about um, the... Uh, I mean, lately, I mean, men dressing like women. I mean, it starts like this, men wearing tight clothes, and then they're like, let's normalize men wearing skirts. And this is what's happening. Yeah, and also they start plucking the eyebrows, they put little bit lipsticks, and you know, it started as a way to become a woman, literally. So <laughs> better to stop from the beginning. And then you have some of them doing like certain cosmetic surgeries to change the way they look oh, and they're spending so more time in beautifying themselves than a lot of women do. And I think that is really, really bad. For example, what if you get a husband that do Botox, for example, or lip surgery or this kind of thing, so what would you say? <laughs> that is an absolute no for me. And um, I really wouldn't even be married to someone that was like that. Um, and the tragic thing is, is that there is men, brothers, more jahil, but you know, they just don't know much about Islam or they don't care and they are doing these things. They are getting fillers, they are getting their lips done, which is very strange. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, um, personally, uh, I think it's, it's really weird that men get these kind of things done. Like, um, if it's not for a medical purpose, I think it's really uh, just kind of like bizarre because um, like, I I'm not saying it's okay for women, but we get that women are more like um, kind of um, um, interested in that and, you know, attracted because of the, you know, society and stuff like, okay, we can get for women. But, like, why? men fall into this as well like for what reason like I think it's just really weird and I don't get it why so I don't I will not uh, definitely not feel comfortable with a man that does this I completely agree with Lily actually you know even before Islam I wouldn't be attracted to this kind of man to be honest like yeah it's just uh, not normal and you know it's so weird because and by the way in case someone's gonna think that um we're just saying that men should not not men should look um i mean uh, after themselves and uh they should look good and they should um take care of themselves but without having to imitate women in the same way that women should not i mean have those big muscles where they completely i mean change their body figure into a man so yeah just follow the norm we need to look good um work out everything but without having to you know completely change like with surgeries or like you said if there's no medical need then why would you use lip fillers i mean it's just disgusting that's the word and it's very feminine of men to be doing these things um you know in the past for men to behaving in such a feminine way would be extremely shamed but these days it's encouraged so I feel like, you know, a lot of people get confused and, you know, because you know, everything is all about themselves. So they don't care about what anyone else thinks, really. I think it's something to do with the social media, with the TikTok, you know, like everyone doing it. So it's like, ah, it's the right way to do that, you know, like, especially in this day and age. But to be honest, it's really like mind blowing for me, you know, because I'm a woman. Um, I don't even know how to put foundation back then, you know, like how to put the nice lipstick colors or whatever, something like that. But how could this man is even more ahead than me, you know, like what is wrong with this kind of man, men? Well, they need to be a man to like provide for their family, like working hard, like, you know, 
maybe doing for the construction working or whatever but not beautifying yourself and then do such weird things online you know like <laughs> i have no words <laughs> I just wanted to add something concerning this topic since we are talking about this topic. Well, obviously, I don't agree with someone. I would say straight away, no, Sam, I can't that even ask me any question. I would say no straight away because I don't like these kind of things. Um, I strictly uh, believe it's haram for both men and women, but let alone men doing it is really disgusting, like Omar Raya said. But um, I notice also what I don't like is when I see a lot of videos of uh, men dressing like women for doing a video on TikTok. I don't like this either. I know it's just for a joke and it's just a video for fun, you know, but still I don't like it. I don't like a man to dress like a woman, you know, and I did a small video asking my husband if he wanted to do a small video where he dressed like a woman uh, to see his reaction. And he was like, no, did you lost your mind? And I liked his reaction because it was for fun, but still he took it very seriously and he said, uh, absolutely, no, I'm not going to do that because um, it's not just something he don't want to record like for the internet, but even at home, you know, but this is good because men should act like men. And I'm not like on Horaira, she's specific that men can beautify themselves, they can fix, they can put oil, uh, uh, they have a lot of stuff they can put to a perfume, whatever, but there is limits to that. Uh, so makeup, surgeries, and this kind of stuff, absolutely no. It's the imitation of women, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now it's a, totally another topic. It's nothing related to Islam, like those a little bit. So would you marry someone that is shorter than you? And I'm going to ask Lily to answer. Well, uh, since I am really, really short, it will be like <laughs> really, really short, man. But I would not mind, uh, honestly. Um, I think it would be like more of a um, society issue since people around would be judging. But me personally, I really don't care. Like, I have no uh, explanation, really. It's just like, um, doesn't like his height doesn't make what he is like uh, his personality is religious like it doesn't change like it's just physical and it you know really doesn't have any uh, importance uh, whatsoever so yeah I think <laughs> I think this is um, what I think about it so um, I will uh, ask uh, Umorera about what you think okay so um, for me personally uh, I uh, I don't really mind to be honest because um, first of all like I believe like I'm so short okay I'm not really short I'm 5'3 at the end but I feel like I don't there's I'm not gonna find someone shorter than me so but you know uh, I think it has nothing to do with Islam it's more about attraction and I personally feel like it's better if someone was at least a little bit taller than me it's not like a rule but I think it's better but uh, again if someone like has a dean and uh, the manners I wouldn't mind yeah sister what about you um yeah for me i also wouldn't mind because like what lily said it's just like physical and it's not really how is it like how is that person is really like how is his teen and his character and stuff like that um but you can marry someone maybe like if he's you know, with a nice smile, with nice eyes, but you know, it's just like part of like why you marry that man. But for the height, I wouldn't mind really. I mean, even though I'm like um, a little bit tall, um, but that doesn't mean I need to a man also like higher than me. No. <laughs> and it's Eka. How about you? I actually agree a hundred percent. Height isn't everything. It is a bonus, but it's not something which you, I would look at. <laughs> it's not something which I would look at to see like, um, will I meet this person? Like, oh, let's first see his height before I agree to meet him. It's not like that. Um, obviously I would prefer a little bit taller. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really matter because there's so many other aspects which are much, much more important 
than height. Okay, so how about me? So let's say that the man have all the qualities I'm looking, but he's not tall. Um, he's shorter than me, which I believe I'm not really that tall. So if he's shorter than me, it's really, really short. Um, I may say yes. I may say yes. If he really has a lot of good qualities and that's the only thing I don't like because I like a man to be taller than me, not even my same height, but taller. Uh, it's just something I prefer personally. But if he's, I would prefer someone the same high if I need to choose between shorter and the same. But between someone short and the same high, I would prefer someone the same high. I don't know. I feel like men that are taller than you is more attractive, like physically. It have nothing about Islam to do with Islam, but about attractiveness because you feel like protected, you know. But if he's shorter than you, I feel like he's like my little brother. <laughs> I have to protect him or something. But, but it's just the it's not like a mask, but alhamdulillah, my, I'm married and my husband is taller than me, so, so I don't have this problem anymore, alhamdulillah. And uh, yeah, so that's it for today. I really hope you enjoy our talk and we'll see you inshallah uh, another day. And uh, yeah, if anyone wants to add something before we go. Okay, I think it was really good and let's um, hope inshallah next time it's going to be also fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> it was so lovely to see everyone and inshallah I hope see you to everyone see everyone later on. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah.